Hey guys, what's up? David here, iJordan0023, showing you today an alternative to Font Swamp. Right, guys, what this does is change the font of your iPod Touch or iPhone. As you can see, my font is already changed. It's kind, of, it's different from the regular font when you get your iPod Touch or iPhone. All right, guys. First thing we want to do is go into Cydia. Then when City is done loading, you want to install these two packages right here, Font Swamp and Font Swamp Starter. Alright guys, when you're done installing those two packages, exit out of City. And next what you want to do is find out what fonts you want. Alright guys, after you've done that, don't, I repeat, don't go into Font Swamp at all. Because... Basically, just don't do it. Alright, then what you want to do next is you have to SSH into your iPod Touch or iPhone after you decided what font you want from Font Swap. Alright, let me just exit out here. Alright, guys, when you go into your SSH client, what you want to do is when you want to go, you want to navigate to private bar mobile library font swamp and packages and here are your four choices dialer fonts lock clock fonts note fonts and system fonts doesn't matter which one you get I got lock lock clock font and system fonts my two fonts are right here in the on my desktop already. This one's for the system. This one's for the lock screen. All right. Right when you when you right after you're done finding your folders, when you find the right font, just get drag the folder to your desktop. I'll just make do an example. Just drag it, copy. Hold on, guys. I have to reconnect. Sorry, guys. I'll just go back in there really quick. Alright, like I said before, after you, when you know what font you want, just drag it to your desktop. Press copy, and it should transfer. Alright guys, next what you want to do is just go back to where it says dash root. Go to system, library, fonts. And cash. All right, guys, you're gonna see a whole bunch of fonts here. All right, what you want to do now is click the folder that contains your fonts, and these two folders right here, the and these two fonts right here, you want to drag and drop into here. I'm not gonna do it. But I'm gonna show you. Just press copy, and that's it. Alright, when you're done with that, you want to respring your iPod Touch or iPhone. And you will get your iPod Touch or iPhone looking like mine, or the way you wanted it. As you can see, there's the font. It changes, and this is my lock screen font. You see that right here? If you want to know the fonts that I'm using, for the lock screen, I'm using Zapfino, and for the system, I am using Casper. Alright guys, iJordan0023, David, just showed you an alternative to Font Swamp for 3.0. Alright guys, rate, comment, subscribe, and see you later.